hello there welcome to my youtube channel future trail so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can take a, a packet capture in wireshark during a production environment when someone is reporting there is a issue with uh, some calls either inbound call or outbound call and how you can filter that call if thousands of call going through uh, your device either that is a cube or sbc so sometimes you know like customer will be reporting that they are having problem with the uh, uh, calling either that is inbound or outbound so in that scenario you have to take the packet captures and how you can quickly uh, filter that uh, specific problematic call among thousands of call and analyze quickly so let's start uh, this lecture so first thing you must have wireshark installed in your uh, production environment so let's let's see this uh, Wireshark is already installed in my system. So how you can uh, take the packet capture? So you can see here, this uh, this is the interface of the Wireshark. So before starting the packet capture, first you have to select the interfaces uh, from uh, which interface calls will be coming and going out. So since this is my uh, lab uh, personal PC, so here you won't see actual uh, production environment, but that if you know the process how you uh, we can take the packet capture so you can select those interfaces during the production and you can start again so let's say let's say this call will be coming through this interfaces local area connection 11 and going out uh, local area connection 2 so you have to select these two interfaces and in your production environment there would be two interfaces one uh, if that is a cube rsbc so one interface will be from cube to the customer environment that is called ingress interface and another interface would be from sbc or cube to the pstn or itsp that is called the egress interface so let's say this 11 and 12 is a uh, ingress and egress interface so after selecting that one there is another important thing here is a filter indirect capture filter so if that is a only call failure either that is an inbound call failure or outbound call failure in that case you must have to apply the filter because in production environment if thousands of calls are going on and if you are starting capture without applying any filter so that will capture each and everything that means that will capture signaling that will capture rtp as well so that might crash your device so be careful while taking the packet capture if that is only call drop so you have no need to take the rtp packet captures just apply the filter and then start uh, taking capture so how we can on if that is just SIP. so for the signaling we know SIP is only using port 5060 so what i will do i will apply filter here port in the you can see in the filter this port 5060 after applying this filter uh, you can see that this is a uh, like background is uh, green color that means the filter is the correct after that on left hand side on top left hand side you will see the wire shark icon just click on that and start captures so once you click on start captures it will start capturing each and everything since this is a production environment uh, I'm, i mean sorry my lab so you won't see any real traffic on port 5060 so it will uh, but in, in in real environment you will see some calls going through here everything once you have taken the packet captures you can see a red icon so the, earlier it was a green so now it is grayed out now you you are seeing here a red icon so what you, you can do just click here stop capturing packets just click on that one after that one since it is showing no packets uh, captures because there is no any real traffic so there's there is no need to worry but in the real environment you will see something here and then after that you have to just save that packet captures so let's say I have already taken that one real scenario packet captures where thousands of calls are going on and I have to apply filter for one specific call because during the troubleshooting calls it would be very difficult to go through each and every call so let's say this is my real scenario packet captures so you can see here so many SIP signalings are going through uh, from egress to egress interfaces so how you can see uh, um, for one specific call what is the request and response and who is disconnecting the calls everything i will show you here so what you have to do you can see you on on top you are seeing your file edit view so there you are seeing telephony just you have to click on the telephony and then click on the wipe calls once you click on the wipe call so you can see here all the calls at that I'm going through the uh, QR SBC. So let's say there is a problem with only this uh, one specific call. This is let's say this is the number, right? 
so it is a very easy here like if, uh, you can say a few calls are going through so like um, manually you can go or scroll and see where is your call but if thousands of calls are going so that would be really very difficult to ca capture and analyze that uh, specific call so what if let's see this is my call so what i'll do first i'll note down this call so let me open notepads where i can note down that number and then after that i will apply filter so this is the let's say number is one nine one seven four seven two two seven nine three right so i have noted down this number so what i'll do let's let me disconnect this one so i will go here and apply the filter so what you have to do you have to type sip contents so currently we're seeing this uh uh background color is changed that means this filter as of now not complete so once it is complete it will show you green color that means your filter is perfectly fine so what you have to do sip contents and that number which i noted down i will just keep that that number so let's see here i put that number and now you can see that number is now it is showing green color that means my filter is perfect after doing that once so now you can see and then click on this um uh this this uh arrow so after applying this one you will see only your specific call instead of all those calls so now you can see the invite or uh, coming from this ip going to this then come going come uh 10 10 8 11 10 10 8 8 and then you can see all the sip requests and response going back and forth uh, between these two ip so uh, once let's say if you are seeing what uh, header and um other parameters are there so you can click you can click on any request and response so let me see, let me click on first my request so if i'm clicking here so on the bottom you can see here let me make it up big and then here you can see the cp invite message so this is cp invite message here the number and uh, call originating from this ip then you can see a cp he header everything so like a from to call id and uh, p a certain identity everything via contact and the message body in the message body you can see if something is there so here is the session description protocol sdp which is uh, basically tells about capability of uh, calling party and call party so here you can see what codec they are using so everything it will be showing here so now uh, it is showing connection ip that means through this ip this is basically their rtp through which they uh, their audio will be uh, you know communicating and these are the audio uh, this is the port number uh, for the rtp and audio video profile basically tells about the codec so zero means uh, g711 uh, ulaw so you can see here this is the rtp map zero one zero two is basically telephony event they're using with this telephone event basically for your ivr systems like where they ask to enter digit from zero to nine so this is that that is for um ivr and the send receive means uh, this is uh for uh accepting the call and the sending the call right so everything is like on here you can see very clearly for each and every request of what header and what parameters are there so since this is my still original wireshark and i have to filter this one so for this is face recall so what you will do just go on the file and click on export a specified packet once you click here just save somewhere on your systems so let me see this is my filter call so i just save it on the desktop so what i will do i will close this main washer because this is having all the calls which i don't need i need only my specific problematic calls so i will close this everything and now i will go this my filter call so once i open this my filter call so you won't see all the request and response uh for all the calls you will be seeing only for your specific call which i apply filter so now go in the telephony and wipe call and you can see this is the filter only for one specific call so what you will do just click here and click on their flow sequence so once you click on the flow sequence now it in like graphically it is very very easy to analyze who is sending what request and what response and who is disconnecting the call so now let's see so this is invite came from this uh, this ip to here then once again this uh, invite sent then 100 trying that portions um foreign device sent 183 session progress then acknowledge messages then buy so that by seeing this uh this uh graph you can clearly say okay who is disconnecting the call first so this for uh 
call originating from 10.10.8.11 this person is disconnecting the call uh, very fast and also like here after here if you click here something like wherever you are clicking corresponding to that one it will come here it will come here and you can see each and everything all the header and response so this is the basic uh, things which you can do in the wireshark and uh, i will be creating more videos in the wire on wireshark how uh, you can analyze the rtp packet captures if you have already taken the packet capture but that is not showing rtp so how we can decode that specific packet capture into the rtp and how we can see uh, from from which ip to which ip there is a packet drops and then we can involve the network team to see if there is some networking issue with dropping the calls and anything so thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe my youtube channels of future trails i will be uploading more videos on all the day-to-day -day technologies which, which are being used in our it sectors and other technologies as well which is um, which you need that one so please uh, do comment Thank you.